Hello Ace Nation, I am longtime Ace Pro Wrestling fan Robert Homecoming from the Jose Marty Freshman Academy in Union City, New Jersey was a very fun show. The show kicked off with a four-way match as Josh Starks defeated Giovanni Maranca, Ultimo Maya, and Showtime Chris Taylor to become number one contender for the Fight for Flight Championship. The next matchup saw Flawless Blake Boris defeating the returning Brooklyn outlaw Mike Donovan in a very good matchup. I sure hope Mike Donovan will be is back in ace for the long haul. Next matchup saw Thorson Creed defeat William Wyeth via disqualification as Wyeth placed Creed in the figure four ring post leg lock and refused to break on the referee's five count and Wyeth was disqualified as a result of that. Up then in an eight-man tag team match, the movement and the current ace tag team champions, Too Hot, Too Furious, defeated the Middle East Connection and Defiance, when the Middle East Connection basically got into a bit of a shoving match with Defiance and walked out on the match, literally causing their team defeat. Uh, after an admission, we resumed the action as the remix of pro wrestling Vince Steele defeated Andrew Tiny Johnson to win the Diamond Division Championship after outside interference from the Devil's Outlaw Stockade. After the match was ended, Stockade... Steele and Chris Rays, collectively the New Age Wrecking Crew, did a number on Tiny, and it seemed like uh, Stockade pilmanized Tiny's uh, hand. Next matchup saw the solution to pro wrestling Alvin Alvarez defeat the prodigy Nathan Bannon, a very good matchup. It looked, notice I noticed uh, when uh, Alvin and Nathan took it outside of the ring that Alvin was trying to get people in the audience to help him. Next matchup saw the returning Rob Vegas defeat Astro Morales in a very competitive matchup. Astro uh, really hung in there with uh, Vegas, and I hope Vegas is back in ace for the long haul. Up next was the main event, which saw Eddie Kingston challenge the Devil's Outlaw Stockade for the heavyweight championship, which basically ended in no contest when uh, Lost Boy Chris Rays from the New Age Wrecking Crew interfered, which eventually brought out William Wyeth. Wyeth took the microphone and said, you know, we didn't come back, come home to Union City to end, end, the, end the show like this. So that led up to Eddie Kingston and William Wyeth defeating the Devil's Outlaw Stockade and the Lost Boy Chris Rays. Oh, it was great being back in Union City, and it was great seeing uh, Felix, Hector, Armand. Seeing Chris Shady Torres, uh, I noticed uh, NYWC's own King Mega was in attendance. Adolfo, wonder why John Harder didn't make the show. Um, I gotta say those those cheerleaders, they really were making a lot of noise, and they were basically chasing wrestlers at one point, especially you know some of the villains. Uh, here's a memorable quote. I wonder if Mike Lewis is going to take his belt off. Joe Alvarez, sorry to mention you, buddy. Um, uh, when he said when he saw Mike Lewis out there with Alvin Alvarez, you're such a heel, Felix. In response to to what Joe had to say, oh, I forgot. It's nice seeing Dan Acosta, Ryan Peterson. Uh, another quote. Yeah. I'm the good guy. Rob Vegas, when uh, Felix was doing his Vegas sucks cock chant. Mm. Well, okay. Well, just as I had hoped, Ace Pro Wrestling presents Destined for Greatness, Saturday, March 8th from the Wallington Knights of Columbus. Here's my match wish list. Uh, Stockade defending the heavyweight championship against William Wyeth. Newly crowned Diamond Division champion Vince Steele defend against Andrew Tiny Johnson in a rematch. Uh, too Hot, Too Furious defend the tag belts against the movement. Uh, definitely would like to see... Well, if Josh Stark's seeing he's number one contender for the Fight for Flight championship, I wonder if the concept of the Fight for Flight title will be broken. Because I understand that the title will only be defended in multi-man matches. Not in one-on-one -on -one matches. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Um,
I was great, great eating at uh, at the IHOP, which was about ten blocks away from this building. And I gotta say, I don't know if it's business owners or residential individuals. I could be using the wrong word. So many people in Union City did not shovel their sidewalks. I don't know if people are too lazy to do it or what their problem is. I just hope nobody else uh, slipped and fell and did anything like that. Um, great to see you, Mike Morgan Jr. Uh, I do have to say, this, this show was a little better than a Redemption last month. And uh, I certainly hope it's a Jose Marty Freshman Academy is a great building. I hope uh, Ace can do another show there, uh, maybe in a few months or so, whenever you can. I mean, it's a great building. I know it's a lot of fans came in long after the show started. I don't know if they had things to do or they just wanted to see certain matches or whatnot. So uh, I think uh, that's pretty much do it. I mean, fun time at Ace Pro Wrestling.